Who are we talking to? You're talking to Man Child Black. All right. Now tell us about libation. Libation. Libation is a party. No, excuse me, not just a party. It's a cultural event that uh, uh, I do um, twice a month with Tea Party Music, which is Ian Friday's label, DJ Ian Friday, wonderful producer, remixer, artist, all of that. Um, we do it right now, currently, at the Sapphire Lounge, uh, Sapphire Lounge on the east side. However, we're about to move it to Sullivan Room on the west side. So we're moving on over to the west side. Um, What's prompting the move? Space. Space. Um, you know, I can't even tell you how hard it is to, to even leave Sapphire. They have been so wonderful and supportive of what we've done and what we, what we had been doing. Um, so shout out to Sapphire. But um, we needed more space to do other things that we want to do which um, we've started to do, which is incorporate more live music, like bring in bands. Uh, we had Kevin Everett come through with his band for our anniversary, which was crazy. And um, that was, uh, although it was a great event, it was a challenging event because Sapphire has space constrictions and sound constrictions. And so we want to go somewhere where it's a little easier uh, to do those sorts of things. So. And when was the party founded? Two years ago, two years ago, what happened was I started working with Ian on some music and in our conversations, I said to him, I said, you, 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 need, to, you need to start a residency somewhere, you need, to, you need to be heard. He was always one of my favorite DJs anyway. So um, that took a little convincing. You know, he 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 said he, he was gonna he was thinking about it, but he wasn't sure if it was the right time. But I, I stayed on it basically, and so eventually he caved in. And I said, well, and we said, well, let's do it, let's do it, let's really do it. So we started two years ago, and um, been going ever since. Thankfully. Um, and why the name libation? Libation actually, it's interesting how that happened because. We, we both said we need to start thinking about a name for the party. And uh, I went home and wrote down some names. Just uh, I had like maybe 10 or 20 names. And Libation was actually one of them. So he called me and he said, look, I got the name for the party. I got the name for the party. I said, okay, well, what, you know, what do you think? He, the first word, Libation. I said, that's amazing. I said, that is, <laughs> that's in like my top five choices was, was libation. So we knew that was it. Mm -hmm. That was the name and uh, that's it. How would you describe a typical night at libation? Beautiful. The parties are really beautiful. And when I say beautiful, I'm not just talking about the music, but I'm talking about the spirit and the vibe of it. The people that come. Um, it's just very warm. Very warm. It's like um, it's like I get to have a, a, a family reunion every other week. That's what it's like. Everyone's very warm and friendly. Um, I mean, I've had people compare it to Cheers because it's like <laughs> like a TV show, you know, where everybody knows your name, type of thing, that kind of feeling. And so, um, but a typical night would be, you know, DJ Rock, Ian. Friday rocking the global soul while we have a live artist painting uh, on a canvas somewhere. We have the dancers on the floor doing their thing. We're lucky that we and blessed that we have Afro Mosaic Soul Dance Collective working with us on the party and they've been instrumental in, in its success. And um, it's just a beautiful gathering of beautiful spirits. And how would you describe the crowd? It beautiful. <laughs> I can't think of any other word. Um, we have also been fortunate in that our crowd, the demographic, age-wise, has been pretty young. Um, a lot of what I have seen around at other events has been um, older crowds, you know, 
30s, mid 30s and up. And what I do like about our party is that a lot of younger people are, are seeming to embrace the scene in this music. And that's so wonderful to me because, I mean, we can't hoard it to ourselves. You know, we, we have to um, is the word disciple? <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word, but but we have to we have to um, we have to bring in the in the in the younger people to give it a fresh energy, and I think that's what's happening, and uh, I love that about our party. Um, what's next for Libation besides Sullivan Room? Besides the move, oh, we have some things planned. Um, I can't reveal them all yet because, you know, they're in development. So I can't say too much. But uh, we're making that move to Sullivan Room. Um, looks like the first party there will be June 5th. We're sticking to Thursdays. Um, Thursdays have been good to us, so we stick with you Thursday. And uh, that's it. We're just going to keep growing and, and, and keep adding... Um, more of the elements that we want to add, like I said, with the live music and even do more with the live painting and just continue to make it a hell of an event. Excellent. And where can people go to get more information? Right now, we're, we're in the works for a libation website, but you can come to me, um, to manchildblack.com. You can also check out MySpace, uh, Tea Party Music, which is Ian's label. Uh, you can go to MySpace, Afro Mosaic Soul, which is uh, the group that works with us, and uh, also my MySpace, Man Child Black. So you have some options. <laughs> Got some options there. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you.